This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster in My Podcast. And this is The Cloaker. There's a monster in my podcast. Yeah. Scree! He's smart. <laughs> and he's chaotic neutral. Yeah. It, it's like it's like a floating Jared Leto. <laughs> like, if you take this whole entry and replace everything with Jared Leto, it still works. <laughs> like Jared Leto's are fiendish horrors related to trappers that dwell in dark places far beneath the surface of the earth. <laughs> Jared Leto generally seeks to kill those who enter his lair. Uh, unless he thinks can think up some other more amusing way to punish interlopers. That is one of my favorite sentences in this <laughs> in this whole book. Yeah. Unless he can think of something better. It depends on how creative he's feeling. Well, because I mean, I love that they're smart. Like these things, they're mimics. Mm-hmm. They're cloak mimics. So, like, hey, there's a cloak on the bottom of this cave floor. Might as well wear it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me wrap this strange thing I found in a dark place around my neck. Yeah, maybe it's magical. <laughs> uh, so they're, they're cloak mimics, but as opposed to like a mimic, which always felt more like like it's a, a part of an ecology. Like mm-hmm. mimics don't seem like schemers. Cloakers are. Yeah. Like these things, they they are sadistic, and evil, <laughs> and and just agents of chaos. <laughs> like I can't. I wonder if like their alignment is listed wrong. Like it's not supposed to be chaotic neutral, but I love the idea of them just being like fucking wild cards. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think this would be very diminished if it was just a mindless kind of straightforward like uh, you know, put put my put my mouth next to your neck and you're done. Like yeah. the fact that this is like a, like a devil ray. That like yeah. when it opens up and unfurls its long whip like tail. Yeah. <laughs> I like that a lot too. And that when it's a cloak, its rows of eyeballs look like buttons. <laughs> Which so that has to, that has to have some embarrassing moments for the cloaker where like somebody like tries to, you know, button him up and ends up like thumbing his eye. <laughs> Real good. That's probably why they're so pissy. Oh yeah. Constantly get a thumb in their eye. Yeah, if you just like offer them something, like come in with like a like a meal. You know, like a, like a, like a nice, like if you brought some pizza and like a roll of paper towels, like something for the house, you know, mm-hmm. like everything would be yeah. fine. Bottle of wine. Yeah. It, there is a little bit about like nobody can communicate with them, uh, but certain scholars have studied the arcane enough to where they can, they can understand their twisted minds. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, so there are a couple of like weird things like this is, this, this is action packed. So one of my favorite things is uh, like its primary like entry is like, okay, it's a mimic and it's going to wrap around somebody and attack them. However, in order to do damage to uh, whoever he cloaks up, you also have to do um, as much damage to wh- whoever he is um, um, cloaked around. So mm-hmm. like even spells like, you know, fireball will cause full damage to both of them, but otherwise it's half and half. And that's the thing is like, they're not only are they really cool flavor wise, but they present these interesting tactical situations. Mm-hmm. Like getting them off of your buddy is difficult, you know, without hurting your buddy. Yeah. Um, um, I feel like it's a little bit too much that they uh, that they manipulate shadows. Mm. You know, the fact that just like they're umbra mancers or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm into something manipulating in the dark, but mm-hmm. it's uh, I mean, I guess it plays in with their, their crazy arcane mind. Yeah. You know, I think their moan attack is a little bit too much. Oh, yeah. like moan is a really good choice of verb. For that, right. like, I like that it's a, a haunted moan, but they don't really need it, you know. Mm. And if they start moaning, it's going to give away their presence anyway. And they right. can't moan and bite at the same time, <laughs> which I wish they could. And it was just like, rawr, rawr. you know, <laughs> they, they just they use the body of whoever they're cloaking for like added resonance. Oh yeah. And so he opens his mouth, and the moan like quadruples. It, totally, or just make it psychic. Like they bite into the neck, and then that person starts making like a, a, a oh a, yeah a invasion of the body snatchers, Donald Sutherland. <laughs> <laughs> like blank eyed moan i love that sound so much yeah yeah that's pretty that's good. good uh it, it's Man, a little, it should just be called dungeons and cloakers <laughs> <laughs> i agree i'm gonna start caverns and cloakers like the new <laughs> offshoot yeah i like what's a campaign a campaign hook for these guys because like the fact that they're mimics kind of like puts them into a really narrow niche and like i feel like their intelligence is wasted yeah yeah, because they're not gonna they're they're smart. They're not genius level, but they're pretty smart. And they're not they're not gonna do anything other than just try to eat, you know. And right. and I would get well, that's not true though, because they play sadistic cloaker games. Mm-hmm. Like they they mail use condoms to their other cloakers. <laughs> and then and they, they say, I want a thousand balloons painted black. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh I, I mean the campaign hook would just be them as an anta- like an interesting antagonist in yeah. a dungeon. They, they're not going to be schemers, but like they could set a really good trap. Mm. You know? Oh man. What if there's like a, like a chancellor or a viceroy or something who, uh, um, you know, 
happens to like catch a particularly uh like scheming conniving cloaker and uh he's not actually like again the psychic thing is under control it's actually like his his cloak is is uh, mm-hmm. making him do terrible things to the you know to a town like never trust a chancellor um but yeah. uh, it's like a different form of curse right oh i i like the idea of the uh the cloaker him getting a scheming cloaker and then uh it being an advisor mm-hmm. to him but it's just it's actually the cloaker and there's like a simulacrum of mm. the advisor there's like a wax faced guy in a wheelchair <laughs> and it's actually the cloaker talking from his back oh shit but nobody's ever able to get close enough to the advisor because he's ancient <laughs> yeah and he's then when the up on a balcony. It, his head like rolls off it's like this <laughs> wax uh thing yeah, yeah that's pretty good yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cloaking mm. cloaking gary no proof has been found that they're asexual <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv.